is happening YouTube from Weight Loss Warriors. It's your boy C-Dub and I'm back with another video. And today I'm going to hook you up with five tips to doing OMAD. And the reason I kind of know this thing is because I lost 125 pounds eating just one meal a day. So if you've never clicked on the channel, I'd like to welcome you. I hope you become a subscriber because I started this channel to hook you up with tips tricks, knowledge, and ideas that I learned along the way in my journey to help you out on your journey. I'd like to welcome you. I hope you consider subscribing, and I hope you become a weight loss warrior. And lastly, you know, to my weight loss warriors, you know your boy loves you. Thank you so much for watching my videos day in and day out and being a part of this channel. And I've got one for you today. It's a doozy. Five tips here. And the first one I want to talk about is eating enough protein during your OMAD. And this is so important. This is a tip that I think should probably be the one you focus the most on from this video. And the reason why this is, is because it has been proven that carbs and fat do not sustain you as long as protein. It has been scientifically proven time in and time out that you get less hungry when you ramp up your protein. So it does not matter what background you're doing, what diet you're doing. If you're doing keto, make sure you're hitting your protein numbers and maybe even increasing them a little bit from what they recommend. And if you're doing something like vegan where you're not gonna eat meat, still get your protein in because that protein is what's gonna help sustain you to the next time you wanna eat. And that is such a big deal. So you need to have at least the palm of your hand that much protein in your OMAD meal. And you need to make sure you're doing that every single time because that protein is gonna push you through the next day and it's so important, the carbs you're gonna burn through, the fat you're gonna burn through, but that protein for some reason hangs on a little bit longer. Tip number two, try to be consistent with your OMAD window. And I said it with a grimace on my face because part of this tip is also be flexible with your window. I, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I just made you think, what the heck is he talking about? I think if you can use your window at the same time every single day, what happens is your body gets used to when you're going to eat. It gets, used, it gets used to when it should be hungry and when it shouldn't. And it makes OMAD so much easier after a couple of weeks. And so you can nail out a time that you're going to sit down and eat every day. I think you're going to be able to, to, to get there pretty easily and you're going to be able to enjoy that meal. But at the same time, you want to be flexible and you don't want to miss life's events. So uh, what, what I mean by that is, so if your window is at five o'clock at night and there's a wedding at noon, go ahead and eat at the wedding. Don't be the guy that's saying, no, I don't want to eat. It's not my window at a wedding, right? At the same time though, you want to make sure you're not doing that all of the time. If you're going to a wedding every single day, man, you got a lot of friends, I guess. But you know, at the end of the day, maybe that's happening for you and you have to do a lot of adjusting. But Consistency needs to be there, but flexibility does too. And I'll be the first to tell you guys that 99.9% .9 of the time, I eat my OMAD at the same time every day, but I do move it occasionally to go out with my wife for lunch or when work has a breakfast or something like that. A couple of times a year, I for sure move my window around to fit into whatever social engagement's happening. And if I were to have a social engagement tomorrow, I would move my window and I wouldn't think about it, but on the most days I'm consistent with it and I think you should be too. Tip number three. All right, uh, the, the signal for hunger and the signal for thirsty are very similar in your brain. So a lot of times when you feel hungry, you need to drink water. And I think that this is something a lot of people miss in the beginning part of their journey. They're dehydrated. And if you are dehydrated, you're going to feel hungry as opposed to feeling thirsty a lot of times. And so if you get those hunger pains, sit down and drink a full glass of water, get up and go on a quick walk and they'll go away. And if you can stay hydrated through the day and have something inside of your stomach, then you're going to feel like you've eaten or you're going to feel more full and you're also going to eat less in your OMAD time, which is beneficial too. So don't dehydrate yourself. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water and you're getting that done for sure. A lot of times they say that you need to drink eight glasses of water a, a, a day. I don't know that you need to drink eight. Some people say a gallon. I do think each one of us, you know, as our bodies are different, as our needs are different, as our size and our height are, all, so is our water levels, right? But you got to find a happy medium and you definitely don't want to be the, the, the person that's drinking a glass or two a day. Tip number four, and this is one that I'm going to openly say that I struggle with, but
but I think that it's important to, to focus a little bit on it, and that's slowing down your meal. You know, I've always been a fast, you know, eater, and so you put food in front of me, I'm like, do, 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 done. And I can knock an OMAD meal out in 10 minutes, maybe less. I mean, I'm, I'm a super fast eater, but when you eat fast, the problem is you don't allow your brain a chance to signal that it's full. And so you begin to overeat. And if you do that on a consistent basis, you start to ignore the, the signals altogether because you've just completely wrecked your body. And so if you slow down and make sure you're chewing your food and having conversation and, and stretching your meal out as long as possible, you will give your brain a chance to tell your body it's full and then you'll be able to, to, to get that hormone working again and you'll be able to get yourself to where you're not overeating because we have the built-in mechanisms in our body that tell us when we've overeaten, but we have to allow them to work. And if we're shoveling it in quick, we're not allowing it to work. And I think a lot of times when you go quick, you overdo it. And even though you may not be gaining weight on OMAD, you still might be losing weight, but you're overeating. You don't feel good at night. And I know that's happened to me several times in my OMAD journey is I've eaten and eaten and eaten. And then, you know, I'm shoveling it in and I, 25 minutes in, I'm like, oh, my stomach hurts. And then I'm sitting down the rest of the night like, man, that really ruined my night. And so just take your time and relax. You know, they say it's an hour eating window. I, I think a lot of people doing OMAD don't, don't even use an hour. They use a half an hour, but use it and understand that you don't have to scarf all the food down right away. Closing out on tip number five today. And tip number five is a really simple tip that I think will help you a bunch and it's not that difficult to do. And it's plan your meals ahead. And so that can be the night before, the morning of, but you don't want to go through the course of the whole day with no meal in, in mind or in planned out. And there's a couple of reasons for that. I think number one, whenever you don't plan your meal, you end up eating something that you really shouldn't have eaten. You know, it becomes a situation where all of a sudden you're like, man, I'm hungry. My window should be opening. I haven't done anything yet. I'm just going to go get the fast food or, you know, I'm just going to go grab the pizza. And not that I'm saying you can never have a fast food or you can never eat a pizza, but I'm saying that if you plan them out in, in, in within your diet, you can have several days of doing the right choices before you go do something that may be a little bit on the outside of what you want to normally do. But when you don't have a plan and you're going by the seat of your pants, you're going to end up eating that kind of food more often than you than you're, you would normally would. Sorry, I got hung up a little bit there on my own tongue there. But you know, I think that that happens to me so much is it's like, oh no, what am I going to eat now? And I have some go-to meals that I make now when I don't have a plan, but most of the time I plan ahead. And this is another thing that you can do when you're planning ahead here is it gives you the opportunity to look forward to your meal. It gives you a chance to say, okay, you know, as I'm sitting here, you know, at 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm getting a little hungry, but man, what I'm going to eat tonight for dinner, that's going to be great. You know, that steak that I'm going to cook, it's just going to be so good. And you get yourself thinking real positive there. And another thing that happens too is when you want and you crave something, if you're making it by yourself because you planned it, you're going to make a healthier version. A hamburger made at your house is going to be a healthier and better than a hamburger at a fast food restaurant or even a restaurant. So, you know, I think planning food ahead and preparing it yourself will hugely help you on your weight loss journey and it'll help you with OMAD. And I have a lot of experience with OMAD. I've obviously, you know, been doing it for two years now and OMAD is a part of the core of who I am. And I think that if you just find the time to try it day in and day out, you're going to find that it's a lot easier and there's a lot of good, positive, solid things that go along with it that, you know, I can't even express. Matter of fact, I'll tell you what, I'll put 50 benefits right here if you want to check those out. And YouTube thinks you're going to like this video. Pick one of those two. And before you do that, click on my face. It's right there. Subscribe to this channel and be a weight loss warrior. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will catch you on the next one. Peace.